Productions. What is up guys, this is Max Square, and these are my 30 plus tweaks and themes for the iOS 7 jailbreak. So let's jump right into it. First off, we have Bigify. Bigify just allows you to remove the icon labels, but it also allows you to add some rotation. And if I just jump into the settings here and I go into Bigify, you can see, I, like I said, you can add some rotation. You can also add some transparency, and you can also scale up or down the size of your icons. Then you can see just under transparency, we have hide icon labels, so I can just switch that on or off. Now you will have to apply changes and respring for any of these changes to apply. Next up we have lock screen tool. So I just lock my screen here and I bring it up here. You can see I just have a message that just says hello Luke. Now I can customize this inside of settings of course. So I just jump in here. We can hide the camera button, the date and time, and the slide to open. So if you just want a wallpaper as your lock screen, you can do that. So uh, yeah, you can customize it to be nice and simple by just jumping into the settings. Now this tweak does not require you to respring or reboot your device, which is really nice. So you just add any change you want, and then it'll immediately be applied. Next up, we have Zeppelin. This is a pretty well-known tweak. It basically just allows you to hide or change the name of your carrier. So if we jump into settings once more, we can come to Zeppelin. Here, we can enable just no theme, which I have it set to uh, right now. You can just say it's none. We also have a whole bunch here. We have Android, Apple, and you can download a whole bunch of add-ons from the uh, Cydia store, if that's a thing. Then we have swipe selection. Now, this is a really simple tweak. Basically, when you're typing, you can swipe on the keyboard to get a more accurate change. So let's say you wanted to change the free or the R in free. You could just swipe that there to get a more accurate selection. Next up, we have CC settings. This is one of my favorite tweaks. It allows you to have more uh, toggles inside of Control Center. And you can see here I'm just swiping to get access to more of them. Now, you can add a whole bunch of in here, and if we just uh, come into some of the preferences uh, and I just come into CC settings. So we have do not include and include so we can just drag that in or out to enable it. Now when you save you will have to relaunch your device to apply the settings. Now number six, yes I've been counting, we have messenger customizer. So if we just jump into one of my conversations here, you can see I have a whole bunch of different colors. Now you can customize this to whatever you would like. Now you have a bunch of settings and a bunch of different colors. Now, if this ever bugged you when you were sending a iMessage and it turned into an SMS and changed colors, then install this tweak. You can enable it to be the same color so you never get that green, ugly color. You can change the opacity and you can also adjust the bubble width. Now, you do not have to respring or anything like that. Just simply just take iMessage out of your multitasking, jump right in there, and your changes will be applied. This next tweak is called Blurred Music App. If I just start playing a song, I'll just bring it up here, and as soon as I start playing it, you'll see the background has a nice blur effect. Basically what it does is just take the artwork from the album and make it the background and then just blur it. And, and when we lock our screen, it'll do the same thing, but it'll do it to the wallpaper, so not the album artwork, which is kind of nice. I still like it. Uh, it's a very nice effect. Then we have NC All Only. Now, I don't know why there's a missed tab inside of Notification Center because it's pretty much useless. So you can disable that with this tweak. You can pretty much disable everything in Notification Center. So if we jump into some of the settings and uh, I find it as soon as I find it, let's see here. And see all only. We can show missed view, and you can see it's automatically just applied. And then we can hide that and also hide the today view. Now, jumping into Notification Center again, the next week I have to show you is called Tap Today Calendar. So if you're on the Today tab, you can just tap the date and it'll automatically just launch the calendar app. This is a really useful tweak and it, I really enjoy it. If you're trying to figure out what appointments you have, you can simply just tap the letters and it'll take you straight to that app. Then we have No Spot iOS 7. This allows you to have no spotlight search because I never use spotlight search on my iOS device and it's pretty useless in my opinion. And if I just enable it, you can see I have no spotlight search. Then we have Fave. Fave just allows you to set your favorite application so that when you swipe to the right on your home screen, it'll launch your favorite app, hence the name Fave. 
So you can use any app, any of your system apps or your user apps. Uh, so you have access to any type of app you've ever installed or that comes with a device. It's a pretty nice tweak if you just want to quickly jump into that app if you're on your home screen. Then we have Circular CC. Now this isn't that big of a tweak. It basically just allows you to add different shapes to these toggles on the bottom here, or excuse me, shortcuts, not toggles. So I've added a double circle theme. Now this is all customizable inside of Winterboard. And if I just go to select themes, I have double circle, complex seal, complex hexagon, and the list goes on. You've got about six or maybe 10 or more different uh, templates, I guess you could call them, for Control Center. Then we have CCD separator. Now, this is a really nice simple tweak and it basically just removes all of the little lines that you will see inside of Control Center. And uh, it's really nice. It gives a nice simple look and an elegant look and it kind of just groups everything together. It doesn't separate everything, which is nice. I like it. It's one of my favorite tweaks here. Then we have home screen designer. So you've probably noticed I have this uh, three by three grid layout. And if I jump into home screen designer, you can see I can just drag any icons here and I can just add icons. So if I applied that, I would only have one, two, and three. So you can mess around with that with Home Screen Designer. Then we have Flat Notes. So in the Notes app with iOS 7, it has a very nice, simple iOS 7 design, of course, but it had this ugly, like, kind of noise background and it was really ugly. So this basically just makes it completely white. It's called Flat Notes, so go check it out. Then we have Blord. Now you've probably noticed when I'm typing, it comes up with this dark uh, black keyboard, which is really, really nice. Very nice when you're typing at night and you want a nice uh, dimmed kind of keyboard. So it's called Blord, basically just changes it from white to black. And then we have Battery Safe. I can't really give you a demo of this tweak because what it does is dim your brightness of your screen when your battery level drops below a certain percentages percentage so I have it set to 20% so anytime it drops below 20% for example 19 or 18% it'll automatically dim my brightness to save some battery now this next tweak is probably the best one here and once you hear it just my advice would just stop the video go install it because you're gonna want it now this is called transparent volume now if you're ever watching a video and you're trying to change your volume and it comes up with this annoying black background and you can't see anything on the screen then you can get this tweak it'll basically just add some transparency to your volume little icon so if i jump in here i can adjust the transparency i have it set to zero and you can get a better example of it here now if i drag this up to 100 you'll see it comes back with that blurred kind of background but i have it set to zero this is a very useful tweak Okay, so those are all the tweaks for the iOS 7 jailbreak. Let's move on to some of the themes. So right now I have this really nice theme. It's my favorite theme, but definitely by far. It is called Flat 7. Now I actually found this theme through TechEekHD. I'll leave a link to his channel below. It is a very unique theme, very simple and flat. It supports probably over 100 icons. I only have like 50 apps, so not many, but... It definitely does support most of the icons out there, so it's a very nice theme. Now you've also probably noticed that I have circle icons. This is a theme called Circulus. Now you've probably guessed it adds a circle mask to all your icons, and it's a lot better than LMAO. If you don't know what LMAO is, it's pretty much the same thing, just adds a circle icon. But Circulus is a little better in my opinion, as it adds a bigger mask, so you get more of the icon. Because some icons aren't always made for a circle. You can see the TV Guide icon doesn't really fit. Uh, it's kind of edge to edge. So not all icons work, but with LMAO, that would probably be, be cut off. Uh, so that's a really nice tweak, and definitely go check that out. Now this next theme is called Pac-Man Eats Signal Icons. So this is a uh, add-on for Zeppelin, actually. And if I just scroll down here, you can see I have a whole bunch of Pac-Man icons. And if I move it back, you can see it's got this cool little effect that the Pac-Man is faced backwards, so it looks like he's eating the icons. Now the next theme is called Space Blueberry, so I'm going to disable uh, Flat 7. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. I don't actually remember what it looks like. Um, let's go look at it. It's just pretty cool. Now the problem is with this is it doesn't work too well with Circulus or LMAO. It's pretty cool, um, except like I said, it doesn't really uh, support the circle icons. Now next up we have iOS 7C. Now this is a really cool, colorful, yet still simple theme. So this is iOS 7C. 
very cool, very colorful. And uh, the only thing I don't like about this uh, theme has a lot of yellow icons, and they're kind of ugly, actually. The notes, the uh, calculator, contacts, clock. I mean, I just think it was kind of like thrown together last minute. You see even the iBooks. Um, it, it's not, it's very pink and yellow, honestly, is my opinion of it. And you can see even there, uh, Spotify, SoundCloud, and um, SoundHound, I believe, it do not have icons, which is really annoying. So it's really just for like the system icons, which isn't all that great. Well guys, those are my 30 plus tweaks and themes for the iOS 7 jailbreak. Now, if I find any more tweaks or themes that are compatible or that I do like, that then I will definitely make a video on it and hopefully publish it. Um, so definitely look forward to that. And uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next videos.